What's going on guys, Druzy here, back again with a new series and a new game that I will hopefully be integrating here on the channel. And of course, that game is Disney Heroes Battle Mode, which is a brand new mobile game that's only been out about 6 or 7 days as I'm posting this video. And there is a lot of games that are similar to the structure and setup of this game. This game primarily focuses on Disney characters, primarily Disney Pixar characters right now. Hopefully they will integrate other stuff as we go along. I, of course, grew up with Disney, as do many people around my age and or younger that have been watching Disney and or different versions of Disney kind of stuff going along. This game is actually fairly, fairly fun and fairly addicting at the same time, but primarily this video is going to focus on beginner tips and tricks for your early success in this game, as I've been playing this game for a few hours a day here since uh, a couple days since launch. I've only been playing it for really about four days right now, but I feel like I have a pretty decent understanding as far as how this game works based on I've played a ton of different games that are similar to this setup. So if you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content as I do plan on making this kind of a mini series going on within the channel. For all for those of you that do tune in for my South Park Phone Destroyer content, that is not going anywhere. That will definitely be a continued focus here on the channel. So let's just quickly go ahead and jump right into the game and look at what we got going on here. So this is the home screen, guys, of what we got going on within this game. There are a lot of different stuff that is going on. As you see, anything that's grayed out, so the Coliseum here, Mission, Surge, up here in the corners, these are grayed out for a reason because I am not at the right level to unlock these things to start out. But the Market Trials, Guild, The Port, Campaign, City Watch, Crates, Sign In Arena, Rankings, those are currently all available to me. But this is a lot of information, guys. We're going to go over this as quickly as we can without wasting too much time. So, of course, the main thing that you want to understand is, again, this is the home screen. So here on the home screen is where you have access to everything within the, th within the game. And you see this little multi-dash icon right here. We'll take you to the home screen. We'll also pull up all your other main options and functions within the game, which are your current heroes, the items you have, your mailbox, medals, quests, and of course, you can then immediately go to the home screen. While on the home screen, not only other than just the things you can access, also has your, your information down here at the bottom, as far as your avatar, your team level, your maximum team level that is attainable. Right now within the game, as I'm making this video, the max team level is 60 for all people across the game right now. I am team level 29, so almost halfway through the game as of right now. There are also some cool incentives to get to 30 within your first 7 days, and I will show you that information here as well. If you guys want to change your avatar, I have the little wizard hat from the Fantasia, Disney Fantasia, because, of course, my main symbol for my channel is a wizard with a hat. But if you want to change your avatar, all you got to do is click on the avatar icon, and then any of the white, green, blue, purple items will probably be there at some point. And certain avatar or hero avatars, you can change and interchange your avatar as you see fit. That is a little tip I will show you. It also talks about your VIP level, which I will explain in a little bit greater detail here in a second. But another nice little tip down here is this little calendar looking thing with a uh, check mark by it. And if you click on that, it will tell you what events are currently going on within the game. As of right now, as I'm making this video, there is a stamina discount event, which is 40% off all stamina purchases, which to do that, you just click on this little plus sign up here by the stamina thing, and it will show you how how much it's going to cost to do it. As you see, I've already bought three of six so far today, so I'm not going to buy any more because I'm not going to spend any gems or anything right now. We also talk about big events that are currently going on. So there is a team level 30 challenge to reach team level 30. If, if you do it within the first seven days, I get 200 diamonds and 500,000, 50,000 gold as well. So that's a nice incentive to do. And then it will also always have your free rewards for every day. And it does list it within your standardized time zone that you currently live in. So as of right now, at 5 a.m., I get daily chances reset, market refreshes at 9, 12, 6, and 9, and free stamina at 12, 6, and 9, and things like that. So that is all super useful information and definitely something that you guys need to look out for. But here in the mailbox goes a little bit into some more detail on some stuff as well. Your first ever purchase bonus will give you a ton more diamonds than usual. This is a free-to-play game, ladies and gentlemen, and like with all free-to-play games, there is a pay-to-win component for all these free-to-play style games, and this game is no different. They are trying to make money just like all the rest of them are, and so they try to give you incentives of bonus gems to start your experience out, and then, of course, they will stay at the, at the main value 
after that point. But the big things we're going to focus on is what three and four have to talk about here. Number two just talks about similar to what number one did. The Dash Incredible Deal. Buy any package worth $5 UDS, which I live in the United States, so that's my current currency value. I don't know what it would be in pounds or any of the other types of currency that are out there or more during their first week and receive 30 Dash Hero chips as a bonus and receive 10 XP flasks. So those are two different things that you're going to get. You're going to get a free 30 Dash Hero chips, which is enough to get Dash to level 2, guys. And I will show you Dash as I do have him to level 2 and talk about why this might actually be a good solid deal for you if you're going to go the pay route of any way, shape, or form. Team level challenges, if you reach team level 10 in your first week, you'll earn 50 diamonds, 10 silver credits. If you reach t team level 30 by the end of your first week, you'll get 200 more diamonds and 10 gold credits. Now this was something that I did mention here just a few seconds ago about the, to level 30. I did hit level 10 within the first two, with actually within the first day, I think, of playing this game within the first couple of hours. You can get through in the first day. You'll, you'll level up enough that you'll be able to play for at least a good probably hour and a half, two hours straight without stopping if you don't want to uh, before you probably run out to where you have to spend money on gems to keep playing through stamina issues. But that's really about it. So you could easily hit level 10 very, very quickly and get that first 50 diamonds and 10 silver credits if you want. And you can easily, because just again, just within a few hours a day for the last four days, I'm already at 29. So that's also something that's very easy to do as well. And the only VIP that you really need in reality is level 3. So for that first $5 charge, you're going to get 120 gems per day for 30 days. So that's going to be nice right there if you want to go that route. And then you get the enhanced fast forward and autoplay feature at level 3 VIP. So that's the only one you really need. Beyond that, it's just little extra bonuses that in all reality really aren't that worth it. So for $5, if you're going to spend any money, that's the only one you really need to spend on, is to get to that point. Beyond that, you're just basically buying gems, hopefully, to buy more stamina. That's really the only reason why you would need more gems. But you get free gems in the daily quests. So you don't necessarily need to do that very much. Uh, also, there is going to be a chat window here in the top left-hand corner. It will show you the global chat. So this is everybody within the world that's communicating. It will show you a specialized guild chat that's just for your guild. If you make it to VIP 1 or above that, you will get the VIP chat, which only people with VIP can talk with into. And then you have a guild wall as well for the actual guild itself. There is also the available to have a friends list. But currently, I do not know how to actually add friends. So if that's something you guys are looking forward to, honestly, I don't really know quite how to do that but what we are going to focus on real fast is some tips and tricks as far as strategy within this game so the main focus of this game again is there is a campaign component there's a pvp component and there is a bunch of different stuff within that there is a normal mode for pv for pve and there is an elite mode for pve as well you have the ability to unlock certain loot based on whatever you decide to do whether it's going to be through pv whether it's going to be through you know going through an elite mode an elite campaign mission will cost you 12 stamina versus a regular normal mode will only cost you just six but the incentive to do elite mode is to try to get the chips to level up and unlock certain heroes and these are the heroes that i currently own at the current moment which are seven of them and i have all seven of them to blue status currently now there are two different ways you can view this available is through this view right here or through this view this is probably the easier view to check on which again just click between these two different view options to pick the one that you would like i would suggest if you're early on starting this game to go with this view as long as you can and you can sort it between power level rarity roll or stars if you want to i think power level works the best right now to know which your which of your characters is currently the strongest you do have the option and availability to get one free two star unit right off the bat within the early portions of the game i went with soli and boo and i would highly suggest that you go with soli and boo as well because soli is probably one of the best tank currently within the game right now there are other options however that you could choose if you don't want to go that route i believe jesse was one of the options from toy story you could also go i think with felix as well felix is from wreck it ralph uh, Nick Wilde was an option there, and a lot of people like Nick Wilde because Nick Wilde has the ability to charm and control enemies. If you want to know more detailed stats about your characters, you just click the little detailed stats button there at the bottom, and it will show up 
the base basic damage skill power hp max energy roll position and trial team and then more information as you level them up there will be bonus stats that they will get that will show up on the right hand side of that information as well so show you an example of that i'm going to click on the detailed stats for dash as you see his other stats he has other stats as well which is hp regen energy regen armor armor negation and normal critical damage so again you will get a two star dash to start and dash is one of the better characters in my opinion currently within the game right now there aren't a ton of characters to choose from i only have seven unlocked there were only 23 characters currently unlocked within the game right now and they go over a bunch of different things toy story is in here you've got zootopia is in here you've got marvel Mar marvel inc is in here the incredibles is in here you have Wreck-It Ralph in here. You have Jack Sparrow randomly in here as well. And then there is one other random character. Wally is randomly in here as well from those genres. But that's pretty much about it, guys. I would highly suggest, again, staying on this mode because what this mode will do is help you know how to best unlock your characters. So if you see this little yellow plus sign right here in the badges section these are new things that i can unlock unfortunately though i'm not the high enough level to obtain them as you see i have all the necessary equipment and i would need to craft them as you get further along in the green plus one and the blues you're going to need to start crafting stuff so you're going to need multiple pieces of badges to put them together to then craft the item once you're able to craft the item then you can then equip it once you hit the required level requirements to do that as you can see i'm not quite to that level quite yet so unfortunately as well as much as i would love to have dash leveled up i'm not able to do that right at this time one suggestion i would make is keep your level at max level at all times if you can as you see i have him 29 of 29 and then if i wanted to level him up more i could get the xp potions or basically what looks like kind of uh, energy drinks essentially to level them up even faster number of chips that you need to level them up to another start level so i have four of 50 chips and once i get to 50 chips he will become level three dash which would be really really nice one character i will highly suggest that you guys also level up is yax yax is one that's kind of ignored from a lot of people in the early on points of the game right but he is very very useful because he has the ability and skill to do healing he heals all of his allies and team for, at my current level, 1129 HP over 2 seconds. And this is basically his charged ability or his stamina bar, which I will show you in the gameplay footage of how it works. But I would highly suggest getting the axe leveled up and getting that heal leveled up so that you can stay alive and really can help you a lot in both PvE and PvP right now. You do get a free tank to start with if you don't go with Soli and Boo as your free 2 star uh, character because you get Ralph, but Ralph, in my opinion, his stats are not good enough for a tank. He has 4,055 max HP currently right now within the game at the level I have him at, at level 29, almost at max blue, level 1. And let's compare that to Soli and Boo, whose detail stats is 10,462, almost 6,000 more, more HP than Ralph, who is also a tank. That's nuts, 4,055 to 10, 462. You need someone out in front that can soak up that damage and keep you alive. And you, you'd argue, oh, well, it's because of that health regen that Ralph has at 850, which is very nice. But then you look at Sully, he's got 735. And not only that, but one of his skills is healing laughter, where Boo laughs, healing Sully for almost 3,000 HP. The skill also triggers at the end of every stage in addition to during combat. So at the end of every stage, automatically he's getting almost 3,000 HP at the level that I have it at to heal him back up. And then he can get it periodically throughout the course of the match. So Boo and Soli can really tank a lot of damage and stay alive for a long period of time. He is definitely a very solid free two-star card I would highly suggest you guys get early on. One thing that this game does do is you pick five heroes to go ahead and go into battle with yourself. You can just go ahead and pick the first five if you want to that are basically on ranking it will show your total team power here down at the bottom as well and then you can just go ahead and click the fight button obviously and you can either do it one of two ways you can have it fight normally like it does but if you hit vip2 down here in the bottom left hand corner you have the ability to speed up the fighting and then auto fight as well which can be extremely useful to grind through these pvp levels because there's going to be a lot of pve levels that you're going to have to be grinding through within this game as you do with any of these style of games these style of games are 
formulated to basically be a grind for you to have to work your way through and it's just going to be a lot easier if you're just going ahead and doing the auto battling now the auto battling does look a little glitchy here while i'm doing it here while i'm recording so i'm going to take it off here for a second and focus on the two things so your green bar down here at the bottom is going to be your health bar and the yellow bar essentially is going to be your energy level for your main ability which is the first ability listed so i'm going to go here use this aoe attack dash is going to use his to do a lot bunch of aoe damage as well i'm going to use ralph to stun everyone also use solely to do some stunning and as well i'm unfortunately silenced here gonna try to and i don't even need to use the axe to heal up luckily i'm able to get through that with a three star victory and able to succeed through it that's essentially how the campaign works you can go through mission by mission you can also replay the numbered missions as you see here i got a one two three four five six and seven so if i re-click on one one will show the loot that i can then go through and obtain multiple values of and you can also get raid tickets which are these things down here in the bottom left hand corner which will allow you to raid through to where you don't have to continue to do the mission over and over again if you click raid it will try to collect all of the different things for you and show what your basically what you obtained through each raid as you go through it but again it will remove your stamina from the top corner as well as you go through the game we're also going to show you i'm also going to show you real quick how the pvp system works as you see i'm currently at copper level two so the pvp system works basically as that there are different tiers of the arena levels so i'm currently in copper two as of right now and it will show you uh, on the screen by you will show up as a green in your defense item so if you want to show basically your defense of the cards that you want you just click on that to change and interchange your actual setup of your team setup and then as you go up the bar it will show you the different people that are ahead of you in rank and things like that so if you defeat them you then will move up within the pvp ranks let's see if we can find someone that's a little bit higher up that we can hopefully defeat so dread pirate boo 2846 uh power is very low i would highly suggest going through this and going through the different levels of pvp is finding people under your current power level because that's going to be the best setup for you to be the most successful let's just go ahead and take out this guy at 37 39 sky i think it was sky dizzy sky dizzy right now and fight him in a 1v1 now one thing that will happen in a pvp setting is it will automatically do auto attack as you see it is locked down there you cannot not auto attack while you're playing pvp but if you don't have the ability to fast forward or to power through quickly you can do that obviously again if you're vip3 or higher and as you see we easily decimated him and worked our way up it will you will then get experience anytime that you complete a pvp or pve mission but with pve you also get other additional loot as well but with pvp you do not get loot specifically you get loot at the end of the reset cycle at the end of each day as you saw there is also an arena shop dedicated to arena tokens essentially that you obtain and those and every and the top two bars will be new hero chips that you can buy to then try to get and unlock or level up those heroes so again guys this was a lot of information a lot of details to go over there are the crates are pretty self-explanatory gold crates are free diamond crates cost gems or you get one free one every 24 hours guild crates you can buy with guild upgrade materials that you get through your guild you can get one through mercenaries are hired and diamond guild member per and a guild member purchases diamonds so if anyone purchases a pack of diamonds you will give basically guild coins to your guild that then they can use to buy the guild crates there's no other way of buying guild crates to my knowledge there's also a special vip crate which must be a vip level 11 or higher which means you have to spend a absorbent amount of money to get to that point so because there, the vip does cap out at vip level 20 and just for five dollars gets you to three i mean i don't even want to know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars it'll probably cost you to get to 11 or even 20 that's just insane but there are people that will probably do that as well there's a lot more stuff to talk about however trials are different based on they require certain characters that are only available to fight within those different trials so as you see the red team it is pretty much all of the heroes within the incredible series and wally is included in that then you have in the wreck it ralph one it shows wreck it ralph it also shows some toy story units as well 
in the blue team one in the yellow it'll show all the monsters inc ones as well as the zootopia and jack sparrow is thrown in there as well so those are all different ones they will open and cycle through the day as you go and you can see the obtainable loot that you can obtain as you move up the different tiers within the trials level to get those done the market will reset about four times a day and each time that it does you will have a different hero chip character in the top right hand corner and then you will have xp drinks always in the top left but that will cycle through as far as how many xp drinks you get and how much the cost is going to be but then the bottom four are going to be different different badges to help you level up and get your character to a higher tier and level uh, the port is going to be two different things that are set up now i believe to get unlock the port you have to be at least level 20 four i think 24 25 if i'm not mistaken and then the first the top port will earn xp and all enemies have immunity to the fantastic damage which is a type of damage that is done mostly basic attack damage to be all honest with you and then in the warehouse you can earn gold but enemies have immunity to normal damage so they only take basically spell or power damage in that mode so those are just a bunch of different things. Your guild, currently I'm in the Atomic Wreckers right now. Uh, we're not one of the strongest guild. Our team power, we're only 265th currently right now within uh, the global uh, game. Right now there are stats, perks, check-ins, mercenary shop, and guild crates, which we already showed you the guild crates kind of stuff. There's a lot of different stuff to check out within this game. I don't really want to make this video four hours long, so I really don't want to go through everything that this game has to offer. And then lastly, but lastly, we will talk about the daily sign-in. As you see throughout the course of the day, you will get different sign-in things that will happen at, at 5 a.m. for me is when the daily sign-in resets. Also, at the same time the daily sign-in resets, that's when your quest will reset as well. And you'll have a bunch of different quests to do. And it will tell you all the things you need to do for each of those quests to obtain those. And as you see with the VIP dash, the VIP bar across the screen in the left-hand corner, that shows you how much VIP if you have three VIP, you will get double these chips for Jack-Jack uh, if you want to try to do that. So if I'm, since I'm VIP level three, I will get six Jack-Jacks instead of three when that hit hits here at that point. So that's just kind of the basics of this game. Pretty simple, guys. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of this game and a really quick beginner's guide. A lot of information that we got through in this episode, but if you guys want to see more Disney Heroes Battle Zone, please let me know down below in the comments section if you want me to try to make a series out of this, as I'm trying to add some more different games to the channel and not just focus on one specific type, as this game, again, has been fairly fun for me overall in the early parts of me playing it, but there is a lot of stuff to go through. This is a much different game, a little bit different game than what I've normally been doing with South Park Phone Destroyer. Also, if you're new to the channel and haven't added me on any of the social media outlets here to my side, please go ahead and do that. That would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, my name is Drewzy.